Look what I got on Friday. Brian Watson's brand new copper cups. They came in this lovely black bag. I really like the bag, Brian. And uh, the cups, as soon as I got them out, I knew they were something special. I was going to write a testimonial on them, but I think it's a bit like when we see photographs of the cups online and, and things, we, we press like, we really do like them. But I think to give these cups true justice, uh, um, I really wanted to do a little video just to compare them with other cups, just to show you how good these really are. So um, I'm going to compare them with cups that I use um, and why, why I'm going to be changing to these fantastic cups. So these are Brian uh, Watson's cups stacked and these are the Sherwood cups. When they're stacked side by side, uh, the Sherwoods are about a millimetre or so small and nothing in it at all when they're stacked up. And also you notice that Brian's has got one bead around them whereas the Sherwoods have got two. I really like the one bead with the copper cups because it just shows what they really are, just three copper cups. Also, I have Gary Animals cups. These are Gary Animals. I've had these for about 13 years. The reason I got these ones was primarily for the final load, which was the tennis ball. That's what I wanted. And at the time, uh, Gary's cups were the best, really, you could buy and to produce a tennis ball. They're not the Gazo cups. They're the size down from the Gazo cups, but they still will hold a big piece of fruit. But I wasn't really interested in the fruits. It, I really just wanted the tennis balls. So that's one reason I'm going to be changing from these now to Brian's and you'll see because I think it's all about the final load so if we have a look at them individually Sherwood's, Brian's, Gary's let me pop these away here we go the Sherwood's and uh, Brian Watson's cups are exactly the same size when they're individual and again you can see the one bead compared to the two bead and the Gary Animals is uh, a lot lot bigger uh, again, to be fair, you can have a, a bigger load as a final load, but for me it was always just about the tennis balls. So let's have a look at the tennis balls on top. There, look at that. You would never believe you could get a tennis ball out of Brian Watson's cup when you look at it like that. But you really can. That just pops. That's what it's all about for me, really, the final loads. I just think that's fantastic. So let's uh, take these away and have a closer closer look at the um, at the cups. So on Brian's as well, you've got a beautiful recess in the top here. So when the final load's on there, it's it's really not going to move about. That's just that's lovely. Really like that, Brian. And the cup also comes with. Uh, Four balls, here they are, the red balls, which look lovely. They sit on the recess as well. There, you've got a lot of play with that, so the cup through the cup, uh, the ball through the cup, I should say, and then when it lands, you've got a lovely wobble. That works really well. The other really nice thing is, if you've got three balls in the one cup, and stack it on top of the other, there's no wobble, they sit in there beautifully, and then when you lift it, they just sit on the recess. It's just, just lovely, really nice, lovely touch. Really like that. There you go. And I think these were about a one inch ball as well, so they're quite big balls actually. Um, I'm sure Brian will correct me if I'm wrong on that, but they certainly look like that to me. Um, the other cup that I use as well is uh, Johnson's cup, and I know that some people will be trying to compare this to a Johnson's cup, but I don't really think you can really. I used to use this one, and I say used to, because I will be changing to these now for a two cup routine. Uh, for close up as well, um, but the problem I had with them was the, uh, the size of them. If you put a tennis ball in, and a tennis ball in here, again, it's it, do it doesn't quite go. Look, you've got that wobble on there. Brian's is perfect. Push it down, it's in there, but you've got the problem where you've got to try and feed it out. Didn't like that. Brian's perfect just comes out perfectly so all in all I would say 10 out of 10 Brian these have got to be the new workers uh, the magic fraternity I do believe has been looking for a really good set of working cups and I think you've absolutely nailed it uh, I'll take my hat off to you 10 out of 10 an absolute no-brainer